Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic that is molecular model of solids, liquids and gases. Let's not waste time and quickly jump to the first point that is rigidity of molecules. But students, what do you mean by molecules at the first place? Molecules are nothing but they are tiny particles of small size and remember they are present in all the states of matter that is solids, liquids and gases. But these molecules in solid are rigid by nature. Now what do you mean by rigidity? It simply means that the molecules cannot move from their position. For example, a lunch box. In liquids, on the other hand, these molecules are non-rigid by nature since we know that liquids do flow. Thus, the molecules are non-rigid by nature. For example, a cold drink. In gases, similarly, these molecules are non-rigid by nature. For example, air. After understanding about rigidity of molecules, Let's quickly jump to the next point that is intermolecular spacing of molecules. Students, what do you mean by intermolecular spacing of molecules? It is simply spacing between two molecules. Now, this spacing in solids is very very small. As you can see in the diagram, if you consider two solid molecules, the spacing between them is less. But if you move towards liquids, this spacing increases compared to solids. Easily you can see it from the diagram. And in gases, this spacing increases even further more. Thus, the intermolecular spacing in gases is the most when compared to solids and liquids. Now students, easily if you compare the three diagrams, you can make a statement that the intermolecular spacing will go on increasing from solids to liquids to gases. I hope you have understood this point very clearly. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.